Hey guys, welcome back to our series on Google Bart. So uh, this feature recently got uh, enabled for me. So now I can create images based on my input prompts in uh, Google Slides. So basically there is a blog article I'll also attach to this, which is create images with AI in Google Slides. So you can create images with AI in Google Slides. So basically the function, the uh, as we have already discussed in the past, where we saw this feature in Gmail and other places uh, in Word, you need to be uh, you need to have joined the waitlist or should have got a notification if you were on the waitlist that you have now been granted access to the following features. And as soon as they show up when you open, they pop up on their own, so you don't have to do anything. So that's the basic one in Google Slides we can use help me visualize prompt to create any artificial ima uh, images using AI. For example, we can ask Google slides to create a picnic of an abstract painting, right? So let me take this example here. Uh, let me take that example. And let's exit it and let me go into this prompt here. So if you click on this function, which is help me visualize. I can just paste it here. We, let's basically ask create a picnic. Uh, yeah, so create an image of a picnic. You can pick couple of sites, slides. It, if you don't like no style, you can try out variety of them. So it generally gives you a couple of images. If you want more options, you can click show more. It will show you more options that are available to you. As of now, this feature is only on desktop, right? So here you get a picnic of a picture of picnics. And similarly, if we didn't like it, let's do abstract painting here. We can do abstract painting. And now I didn't pick a style. So by default, it will be none if you don't pick a style. If you want any of the specific style, you can go ahead and select that specific style. And uh, the way this would help you is if you are creating images, previously you had to go to Canva or other place to create your images and then copy it over to Google Slides. Now you can pretty much do most of it here. So let me also say um, Wall Street in 2030. Right, and let me say sketch. So I want to see how Wall Street might look like in 2030, or if it's anything else, you can do that too. And note this feature is um, available to most of them from what I checked. It might not be available to everyone. So please make sure if you uh, don't know how to go to go to your google.com and in Google, you might you will see something called uh, search labs. So you have to join there for uh, you have to join the waitlist. I'm already on the waitlist and I got access to most of it. If not, you have to ask it. If not, you have to join the waitlist. You can look it up in, a, in my previous video. I have uh, already done that. So that's basically what it is. So in the computer, in presentations, just make sure we go to Google Slides and if you want to know how to go to Google Slides, you can just type Google Slides or I will also attach the URL so you can go to Google Slides. So this will take you to your Google Slides and you just need to go create an empty presentation. This is for people who haven't used Google Slides in the past and you can select a theme or anything. So let me say I like this theme, I pick it and then if you want to create a slide, it's like uh, this one. Um, just click the plus button. If you don't like it, you can also go change the layout here. So you can do that. If you want to turn on what we clicked on, help visualize me, you can do that with this and you can play around with variety of examples and the themes we looked at. So that's the advantage of this one. So just wanted to cover it. So uh, if you want more of this, uh, we, you could also do this. So different people look at different one. So let me say I want photography, a photography of a Hawaiian beach at the sunset with palm trees in the distance. You can do that. 
So what Google also recommends is for better results, consider including the subject. So it's recommended we include the subject distance settings materials, for example, a close up of a boat out made out of wood on a lake surrounded by trees. So you can actually whatever prompts you are using for mid journey or any other tool, you can also use it for uh, um, help visualize me. It should give you a good uh, output, whatever you are looking for. So that's basically what I wanted to uh, cover here. I hope this helps and let me know if you can make images and what you made in this. Uh, thank you for joining.